Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Go Eevee Model Lock Edition. Right, so we've got out of the Team Rocket hideout and finally we're learning how to fly. Because of course Eevee can fly using a magical contraption. Because why not? So Sky Dash we have. Excellent. So let's use that to get back to Lavender Town. Uh, secret techniques, sky dash, and we'll go back to lavender. Boom. I'm not sure if I need to heal up or not before I go into lavender. Could be an idea. I also get to catch a new Pokemon, which I'm hoping I can get a Marowak. Because I'm pretty sure that the final Pokemon you fight is a Marowak, and you should be able to catch it. If I can get a Marowak, that'd be cool. I mean, I don't need a ground type at the moment, but I do need a good fire type. And a ghost type would be quite handy as well, because that would be good against the, both the fighting gym and it would be good against Sabrina. So if I can get an Alolan Marowak, that would be very, very handy. So, let's have a shuffle. It's all this shite. I know you don't like ghosts, but whatever, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll lead the way, shall I? Fucking knobhead. You big fucking tosser. Right. Uh, who do I actually want? Probably... Vin Threezel, I'm guessing, mainly because of all the ghost types being poison, that, yeah, I'm guessing that would be definitely the best solution. Oh, I could probably, eh, whatever. Already passed it now. So, let's use the Sylph Scope and find out what the hell these are. Now I've just got to avoid them. Right, so the Ghastly there. Oh, there's a big Haunter. Fucking hell, I'm not going to be able to avoid that Haunter. Oh, great. Fuck you. Super Potion, excellent. Right, let's move on up. Oh yeah, Teleport, best game in the game. Doing well so far. Zubat, I definitely don't want a fucking Zubat. Thank you very much. That'll be useless. I mean, I love Crobat and everything, but the initial Zubat is going to be pretty shit. And I can't evolve it, so... Yeah, we want to be avoiding that, I think. I need to start fighting trainers, to be honest. I keep avoiding them just because it's quicker and easier. But I'm going to get to a point where I really need levels. Motherfucker. Sucker punch. You twat. Have to be careful of that. You fucking like that, did you, mate? Yeah. That's right. Piss off. Bloody Chandler. Well, hey. Aha. Uh -huh. Balls. Ice stone. That's worthless, but thanks for that anyway. Whoops. Ah, well, fuck it, I'll fire. Come on. You need a little bit of entertainment in your life, don't you, love? So, let's give you a smack on the chops. There we go. Give you a nice, quick earthquake to the chops. Don't give me a sucker punch, please. Thank you. Ooh, I need to bear that in mind for the battle against Jesse and James. I believe we have to fight them at the top. If I'm using Earthquake, it's going to affect my partner Pokemon. So I need to find someone who won't die. So I might have someone who can protect or fly or something. But there you go. Sod it. 
Just gonna have to deal with it, I think. I mean, I... do I have a flying Pokemon? I don't remember. Uh... Right, let's switch to Gordy. I'm kind of... Oh, actually, no. I'll switch to K9, actually. Might be a good shout. Don't want to waste my Earthquakes. With these levels, I could probably take them on with him. Right, Psybeam. This would be super effective, but it should be able to rip him a new one. Yeah, there we go. Cool. I'm going to switch out to K9 as well, get him up some levels. He's still lagging a bit behind. Come on, take care of this ghastly. Whack your Psybeam out. I really wish trainers would have more variation in the Pokemon. As I said before, like a lot of them only have one Pokemon. And then the ones that have multiple like this. I mean, four fucking Ghastlies. Could be a bit more imaginative than that, can't you? Nah, I saw it. I've, oh, shit. Piss flaps. Piss flaps. Oh, I don't matter. Uh, right, okay, let's just switch back to K9. Won't be able to use any ghost moves. Sickle Punch won't work. I should be fine. Ah, you fucking dickhead. You weren't expecting that, were you? I mean, that's fine. Sucker Punch me all you like. Mother flipper. I'm going to have to use Psybeam again. Well, I don't, I'm going in one of those healing spots anyway, so I'll get it back. Super effective attack against a Pokemon that's what? Ten, well, three levels lower? And I still can't kill him one. Disappointing. Disappointing, K9. Get your shit together. But yeah, this is why I'm avoiding most of the fights as well, because it's just like, yeah, let's fight another fucking Ghastly. That's one of the reasons why I hate Bellsprout Tower so much, because you're just fighting fucking Bellsprout after Bellsprout, and no one fucking likes Bellsprouts. Although, meh, I started to like him in this one, but I still don't want to fight him again and again and again. They're a bit boring. Oh, let's switch out of the party. I uh, changed my mind within Threezel. I want to get K9 up. Mm. Fuck it. K, 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 K. Excellent. Top banter, love. Those are some quality banter moments there from Channeler Jennifer. Go on, K9. Side beam again. Side beam, side beam, side beam. Oh, I knew that was coming. Don't matter. Ah, oh, you bugger. Shame so I didn't have any other kind of move that would deal with him. Ideally, something priority to get rid of that. On Porygon, you just need to be a little bit stronger. Please level up, Porygon. You're not quite strong enough to be a level 25 hunter. Three Ultra Balls, excellent. Can't fucking use them for catching important Pokemon, but there you go. Hive Potion, okie dokie. Ah, here we go. Oh shit. It's a big one. Marowak. Yeah, Marowak. Go on, darling, get in my balls. Nah. 
emotions. What? Well, thought I'd fight it. Since when don't you fight the Marowak? Oh, I mean, it's an emotional scene, but I went to Marowak. Well, fuck off. Q. Yeah, I've got this. Piss off, fake Gary. Well, that's shit. Oh, fuck, I need to catch something here. Might as well catch a fucking Q-bone. After all, it's a huge one. It's a huge Q-bone. Right, let's give it a nanab. Let's give it a raspberry. And let's get out my Pokeballs. Boom. Excellent. Come on. Come on, you huge cube. I'm getting my excellent balls. You fucker. Motherfucker. Just get in. I don't even really want you that much. I'm wanting a Marowak, but pff, stuck with you. Fuck off. Come on, you fucking turd. Richard the turd. Fuck off. Just get in. Got catching Pokemon with fucking Pokeballs is a right pain in the ass. Hey, there we go. Way. Magikarp is level 35. Excellent. It's evolving, is it? No, you fucking aren't, darling. Because you can't evolve. And you will never evolve. I don't even know why I'm keeping that magic up. I'm only keeping the magic up in there just until I get like a tent of cruel or fucking something that's not useless. Um, no, it's not in the party. In the bag, we've got Pokemon and we need to give him a name. Right, change name. Well, I refer to him as Richard the Turd, so I'll call him Richard. Yeah, it is a boy as well, so that's something. Uh, let's go into the party as well, I think. Need to shift those, put Vin Threezel up top, and... Mm, I think Grass resists Ground. Um, but let's check defences. Right. So he's got minus defense, so that's going to be a problem. So it's 42. And Eevee. Defense 93. Right, okay, he's got like a hell of a lot more defense. So yeah, God needs to be going in second. Rare candy. Hmm. Excellent. Oh, another cube on. No, I think maybe I just fight Jesse and James. I thought I fought like a bunch of Team Rocket guys. That's fine, it's going to be a piece of piss. As long as Gordy survives this earthquake, then it should be a piece of piss. Come on, just fight me already. <sighs> it's a shame I don't have TMs. Then I could use Protect or something. But there you go. That's the limitations of a mod lock. Makes things a little bit more complicated. Right, Earthquake. And is there anything I can do to protect myself against that? No, there is not. Um, I would say, like, Arbok's the biggest threat because it can paralyze. Oh, motherfucker. There we go. Go on. I might still get poison from this wheezing. But there you go. 
I'm surprised Earthquake didn't actually kill it. It's super effective. Oh shit. Uh, let's do Slash on the Weezing and I am going to paralyze the fucker. Hopefully it should be enough to kill it. Oh, crit. Excellent. There we go. Jobs are good and good teamwork. God, you lost a little bit more health than I'd like, you know, with Earthquake and everything and that sludge bomb, I think it was. But it's still alive, so fuck it. Huzzah! Oh yeah. Right, so I need to go to Sylph Code later, but not yet. Not quite yet. Go on, Fujin. You're trying to calm the spirit of Marowak? Well, you didn't do a good fucking job, did you? How about finding his lost child? That might help. Dog Flute. Oh yeah, I can theoretically catch a Snorlax. The only thing I've got to hope for is that this Snorlax doesn't have facade. If it has facade, I'm fucked. Because Snorlax is a pretty heavy hitter and I'm planning on burning it. Thank you very much. Okay, so we've got enough time to do the Snorlax battle, I think. Uh, okay, move Pokemon to the top. Jobs are good then. Let's do... Yeah, yeah, yes. Don't fucking piss around with my time. Thank you very much. Um, let's go to Celadon. As I say, not going to bother going to Saffron just yet. Because I think I need a level 50 Pokemon to get into the gym. So there's not really much point going yet. And then I have to beat Silphco first. And I can't really be asked with that. So I'm going to head on to Fuchsia. I'm a bit more confident with a poison gym. Do I want to use a Poke Flute? Yes, I do. Now, this is one of the special battles in Let's Go, which is interesting. Uh, this doesn't count as an encounter, but I will be attempting to catch it. Uh, I mean, I've got just Pokeballs, so there's a good chance that I'm not going to be able to catch it, but that's a thing. It can attack the first thing it sees. Yeah, it's just fucking waiting behind me, doing nothing. Oh, now it's attacking me. Uh, yeah, there's a special one, because you've actually got to defeat it. And then you can catch it. So it's defense rows. Well, it's like, kind of like a totem Pokemon in that sense. Right. Scissors lad. Burn it. There you go. Please have facade. Motherfucker. Uh, let's switch to... No idea. Let's switch to Burn Man. Put it in a fire spin. Just a bit of extra residual damage. Oh shit! I think I had Toxic! Fuck. You joking? Well, it doesn't matter if Charmander goes to sleep. So let's put it in the fire spin. Motherfucker. Okay, that's annoying. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll just... Uh, I'll use Gordy, I suppose. And I think I'm going to attempt to para-flinch it. That might be the best solution. So this is 90, 90, they're all 90. This is 70 plus stab. Right, come on. 
we'll try, actually, we'll try Buzzy Buzz, which is a special move. See if that does a little bit more damage. Because it's already got bulked up defense. Nah. What? You joking me? This is pretty annoying. Right, I may not even fucking kill this, to be honest. I'm, this might be a wasted encounter. Although I say it's a special one, and there's another one just south of Lavender Town and east of Vermilion, I think it is. Come on, just flinch the fucker. Pretty hefty damage. Hmm. Right, let's just keep on doing this, I think. And hopefully it flinches. Just don't crit me or anything, that would be sucky. Right, this should finish him, I reckon. Motherfucker. Well, he was being a bit of a pain in the ass, wasn't he? Right, let's see if we can catch this. Although, I very much doubt it. So, Nanab... And Raspberry. Now let's just see if I can get him in my balls. Get that big bad boy in my big bad balls. Well, what the fuck was that? Thanks. Hey, excellent! Don't know why my balls are going to the side. Oh, as if, as if, in my second ball, it's a fucking Pokeball. How the hell did I catch that so easily? Huh. Now, who will he replace? That's the question. Hmm. What do I call him? That's the other question. Right, anyway, first things first, let's give him a name. I'm going to call him... Because it is a him. I'm going to call him... Cuddles. No, 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 I'm going to call him... Mr. Cuddles. If it'll fit. Yeah, it'll fit. Totally fits. Excellent. Right, so now we need to add him to the party. Um, who am I going to replace? Like, K9 is special attacker. And I'm kind of lacking in special attackers because, you know, that's mostly physical, 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 special but shit. Um, I mean, really, it's going to have to replace Lackier. Magikarp's just kind of there. Sorry, Lackier, but... You're actually not really doing anything, so yeah. Anyway, let's go and heal up. And I think we're going to put him to the front of the pie and just see what he can do. Snorlax is going to be a very good catch. A very good catch. After all, I can't evolve my Pokemon, so having a Pokemon that's already fully evolved and pretty strong is going to be quite an asset to my team. Anyway, yeah, I'm not going to continue. I was going to catch another Pokemon, but I'm not going to. I think we'll just leave it the Snorlax encounter, and then next time we'll catch some new friends, and hopefully, if it doesn't take us too long in future, we'll do the gym battle as well. Okay, see you then. Bye, everyone.